The following video is a recap of Sinnoh Tour. Welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with this build to similar to mine. In this video, I cover Sinnoh Tour, the weekend long event, which also marks the debut of Origin Form Dialga and Palkia. And I hope to catch as many shiny Pokemon in the process too. Other and I just got my first shiny of this Sinnoh tour. A shiny Dialga Orchid form. Stay tuned to see if I can get any more shinies. And I just caught another shiny for this Sinnoh tour. A Hisuian female Sneasel. Shiny luck during Sinnoh Tour with only two shinies I caught on the second day. But now we're going to talk about the special and timed research events for Sinnoh Tour. The special research story has you joining forces with Arlo, Cliff, and Sierra as they're looking for Giovanni. And of course, you have to choose one of the three Sinnoh starters. I went with Pitbuck, and depending on which starter you go with, Arlo, Cliff, or Sierra will appraise your Pokemon. Since I went with Pitbuck, I ended up with Cliff. For step one, you had to catch 15 Pokemon originally discovered in the Sinnoh region with your reward of one incense. Use an incense with your reward of either Shadow Turtwig, Shadow Chinchar, or Shadow Pit Club, and complete all tasks in this step with your reward of 3,000 Stardust, either Turtwig, Chinchar, or Pit Club candies, and either Turtwig, Chinchar, or Pit Club XL candies. Catch either Dialga or Palkia with your reward of a Shadow Gibble. Power up a Dragon-type Pokemon 10 times with your reward of 5,000 Stardust. And complete all tasks in this step with your reward of either Dialga or Palkia candies, Dialga or Palkia XL candies, and 2024 XP. For step 3, you had to evolve 3 Pokemon with your reward of either a Shadow Scizor or Shadow Pinsir. Activate War of Time or Special Rand's Adventure effect with your reward of either a Haunch Crow or 
Miss Magius, which are both shadow Pokemon, and complete all steps in this task with your reward of either three Dialga or Palkia candies, three, one Dialga or Palkia XL candy, and a Spirit Tomb. And lastly, purify one Shadow Pokemon with your reward of 1000 XP, purify two Shadow Pokemon with your reward of 2000 XP, purify three Shadow Pokemon with your reward of 3000 XP, and complete all the tasks in this step with your reward of either Dialga or Palkia Candies and Battle Giovanni. Once you defeat Giovanni, you'll be able to catch Shadow Regigigas. And now, we're on to the time research portion of this event. You had to take a snapshot of Uxie in the wild with your reward of 400 Stardust and an Uxie encounter. Take a snapshot of Azelf in the wild with your reward of 480 Stardust and an Azelf. And lastly, take a snapshot of Me Spirit in the wild with your reward of 480 Stardust and a Me Spirit encounter. And the total reward for this time research were the three members of the Lake Trio. As for the last and final time research event, you had to complete three party challenges with your reward of a Reggie Gigas encounter, 10 Reggie Rock candies, 10 Reg Ice candies, and 10 Reggie Steel candies. And there was also another time research event that you unlocked with a code that was unlocked after Sinnoh Tour Los Angeles. And the steps for this time research portion were catch 30 Pokemon originally discovered in the Sinnoh region with your reward of 10 Rotom candies and complete all tasks in this step with your reward of 497 can Stardust 497 XP and normal Rotom encounter. Well, the Sinnoh tour was lacklusting and I only ended up with two shinies. A shiny Dialga Origin form and Isuian Hopefully, the next event, my shiny luck will get better. In the meantime, this is 